Brown, live from the Mooney Valley Race Course, proudly brought to you by Power Play Promotions. Our next contest proudly brought to you by Fighting Fit. Introducing first from the blue corner, please welcome Mike Blood Diamond Campbell! <laughs> And fighting out of Paul Fivefield's gym, Dinsa Kenta! <laughs> Bell number eight of the evening, five by two minute rounds, old school kickboxing rules. 73 kilogram weight division, proudly brought to you by Fighting Fit. Our referee in charge, Mr. Bryce Bertwistle. Firstly to my right, fighting out of the blue corner. Trained by Tristan Apiaka Toa from the City Kickboxing. Official weight 72.6 kilograms. Standing 5 feet 11 inches tall. Tonight we're in a black fight skirt with a grey trim. The man who defeated Aaron Goodson. Fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand. 19 fights, 13 wins, 2 by way of knockout. Please welcome Mike Blood Diamond Tumble! His opponent to my left, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Paul Muscles Fifield from Fifield's gym. Official weight 72.3 kilograms, standing five feet 11 inches tall. Tonight we're in the black shorts with a yellow and a white trim, fighting out of Hawthorne, returning to the ring after an eight year layoff. Ladies and gentlemen, 12 fights, nine wins, four by way of knockout. Please welcome the return, the Count of Monte Fisto, Ganesh Kanta! <laughs> Fighters to center in, please, for final instructions. Here we go, mate. Bad eight of the night, proudly brought to you by Fighting Fit. We've okay, got guys, Ganesh Kanta coming, coming back after an eight-year layoff. 12 fights, nine wins. The Count of Monte Fisto, right. now uh, I've heard it all. Trained by Paul Fighter out of Fighting Fit. Boxing Centre down there in South Melbourne, taking on the man that defeated Aaron Goodson for the Commonwealth title, the Blood Diamond Mike Tambo, trained by Tristram Apikotowa. And that was the leg kicks you were saying. This boy is tough, don't you worry about that. This one's five two minute rounds. And they come out swinging. Height and reach going the way of Dinesh. But Mike Blood Diamond, and I can see why Joe Nader's brought him back. He's the full package, this boy. Dinesh uh, looking fired up like he wouldn't believe. Very wild swings. What? If it goes long enough, they might um, oh, what? settle down a bit. <laughs> massive. There from, uh, Mike Tambo. Tough boy, you know, Aaron Goodson normally destroys his opponents with leg kicks, but Mike Tambo was uh, equal to the task. Not bad for an eight year layoff, I'd say, from Dinesh. Looking very sharp. Very well matched fight. That's just trained by the silver fox Perry called him muscles. I don't think he was too happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what you've been talking about, Bushy? Slapping <laughs> The thing with kickboxing, you can really duck down like in a uh, boxing, I guess. There's no fear of copping a knee, so. Both wearing a couple to the face. The sickening sound of shit on shit from these boys. Yeah. 
five two minute rounds proudly brought to you by Fighting Fit Michael Kenner and Fighting Fit. Seconds up. Round two. Round two, Australia versus New Zealand. Mike Tambo trained out of the City League uh, kickboxing game over there in Auckland, New Zealand. Watch the kicks. Very unpredictable fight, this one. Mike just wore one a little bit low there. Both boys are working the legs a treat. Mike's got his hands dangerously low. Hands Yes, he's just uh, hunting him down at the moment. He's found his range, but um, Tambo's doing a good job of replying. Dinesh is working that lead leg. Tambo's a treat. They probably would have watched the fight with uh, Aaron Goodson and Mike Tambo, and, and Aaron Goodson did exactly what Dinesh did. He just worked the legs. Mm -hmm. Mike Tambo, mate. Legs like tree trunks. Didn't buckle, he just kept coming. It's such dark skin, it's harder to see the world, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, sort of looking to be showing, showing here under the bright lights, mate, at the Mooney Valley Celebrity Room. Beautiful one across the tummy there. Tell you what, I'm really impressed with Vanessa, it's had an eight mm. year layoff. I'm liking his composure, just very straightforward walk up fighter. Care for an early prediction, Bushy? Mate, I'm just, I was just actually thinking about that. I'm just trying to go back into the memory bank and, and think of what Mike Tambo did with uh, Aaron Goodson. As I said, he defeated Aaron Goodson for the Commonwealth title under the kickboxing rules. Mate, this is, a, this is a good fight, and the crowd just sitting mm. back enjoying it. Thanks to Fighting Fit for getting him on that eight of the night. Try that corner, Blue. Yep. Round three. So round blue. three, about eight. Probably booty by fighting fit. Notice Dinesh is always going for that big uh, um, push forward uh, right punch. He's really trying to just push it in there from a distance. And it's landing a few times. Mike's not looking phased at all, though, man. He's, mm. he's a tough customer, but I'll tell you what, it's super impressive with Dinesh. Step back. Look. I've just got to keep those hands up. The contrast in the build as well. Long and lean. Mm. Uh, Dinesh Cantor and the legs like tree trunks. Mike Tambo, good flexibility. Switch up left eye. Uh, big slip. Yeah, good work there from Dinesh, uh, just realising that. Just Fight. Good sportsmanship. Yep. Dry it up. Punch. Stop. Inside leg kick there from uh, Mike Tambo. Fight. Unsettling Dinesh. It's an axe kick, there you go, Fever, another one. <laughs> right! The back. Fight! Very stiff right hand. Bit of a slip there again Stop. from, uh, from Mike Tambo, Dinesh. Starting to trouble Mike Tambo. Mm, in the hands department for sure, he's, he's starting to land them, and I think it is starting to bother um, Mike at the moment. Looking a little bit unsettled at the moment is the blood diamond Mike Tambo. Dinesh just stalking him, cutting off his ankles. Watch your heads. Yeah, he's starting to look a bit worn. He's missing his range there. <laughs> Big third round there for Nash Panther. the fighting pit boxing center. Round four. The penultimate round. You've been doing to say that too, mate. I'll let you yeah, say that. That's fine. Yeah, thank you. Next one's mine. <laughs> Dinesh Cantor and 
the blood diamond like Tambo. Tambo's got to keep his hands up here. I think Dinesh is starting to work him out. Tambo fighting with the blue gloves, Dinesh with the red. Slapping the kick there from, from Dinesh. Such power behind both of them. Tambo caught him with a hook at the top of the head there, and I say some of the worst knockouts at the top of the head. Your brain just goes completely scrambled. Dinesh, big looping rise, but Mike Tambo, good evasive skill, just getting the other way of them. Any of those connected. <laughs> On hold the leg. Great kick from Tambo. Oh, massive punch to the jaw. He felt that. He definitely felt that. That hurt him. Yeah, looking a bit wobbled. He's uh, again. He's yeah. like, like Tambo. Dinesh has got to capitalise now. He's taking too long to jump in there for another right. He's just dropping his hands too much. There he goes again. Big left hook from Dinesh. Hurt him again. He's gassing, yeah. Yeah, he's fighting off the ropes at the moment. But some big hands from Dinesh. Healthy legs. Ooh. Bryce Burt whistle keeping a good close eye on a good smart work there Dinesh, Dinesh just trying to take the leg out. Spy here there. There we go. Friendly brought you by fighting fit for both of these boys, mate. They are fighting fit. Well, he's, he's doing a very good job of uh, riding the punches. Like there's definitely landing, but he's softening the blow a bit by turning his head. He's got his hands down around his waist at the yeah. moment, mate. He's just inviting Dinesh to, to throw one at him. Yeah, he's tired though. Oh, oh very sloppy. Made a big fourth round there from Dinesh. Hand up. Will this yeah, go to the end of the fifth? <laughs> In what was the penultimate round? Let's go. Fighters touch gloves. Touch gloves. Fifth and final round. Go, Fibbo, the fighting fit. Fifth and final round is Mike Tambo fighting fit. Will he last this round out? He was looking gassed yeah. at the end of the fourth. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a very tough for him to get to the end, I think. Um, just depends on how much pressure Dinesh puts on him. I said it before, we'll say it again. Very impressed with the Dinesh Cantor coming off an eight year layoff. Supremely fit. There's one thing made about being, being fit, but being fight fit as well. Mm. Being fight conditioned. Dinesh would be left there from Mike Tambo. Great evasive skills from Mike Tambo. You can tell he's tired as well with the way he's throwing the push kick. <laughs> One minute to go! I think Dinesh is trying to punch him into next week there. Yeah, mate, I think, I think he realises he's, he's done enough at this stage on the scorecards and Mike Tambo's really not offering any uh, resistance there, not fighting back. I think he'd like to see a, not, uh, a knockout and uh, send a message out there. He's come back fight. Come on, work out of it. Really starting to suck it. Final 30 seconds. Oh, good left there from Mike Tambo off the ropes as well. Where's another one? He's just, I think, waiting for the bell. Oh, good flush right there from Dinesh as well. That'll take a bit more wind out of him. Mike Tambo's fighting much. Mate, he's a tough boy. He's worn absolutely everything Dinesh has thrown at him. He's conditioning to look there tonight, mate, but I tell you what, tough boy. Dinesh will take this one home, mate, but the blood diamond all the way from New Zealand, Mike Tambo. He wore it all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got Jake the Push Up King representing this uh, this evening, fighting fit authentic fighting gear. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. Don Miller and Paul Smith had it 49 46, and Mark Cook had it 49 47. Yo, and by unanimous decision, Red Corner, the cat of oh, Monkey. There you go, Fibo. No surprise there. Yeah, no surprise there. Great comeback win from Dinesh Cantor, trained by Paul Firefield. Mike Tambo, Blood Diamond, you missed it on his game. Mike Tambo, Dinesh had his number tonight. But uh, I'm sure that's not the last we're going to be seeing of him.